Hello everyone. In this demo, we will set up Splunk Edge processor to receive data from Kubernetes pods over HTTP event collector, also known as HEC, and then create a pipeline to reduce the size of the data set by filtering out unwanted events. In the background, we have set up Splunk Connect for Kubernetes to read data from Kubernetes pods and send data to edge processor using HEC. As you can see here, we are now receiving data in reference to several source types from Splunk Connect for Kubernetes, which is transporting over HEC. Next, we will build a pipeline to filter data from the fluentd colon monitor dash agent source type that is being received. Firstly, let's preview the data set before I apply the filtering logic. As you will notice, there are a handful of events with type as one of the fields within the events. As part of this pipeline, I will apply filtering logic to drop all events where the type field does not match the system D value. I'm using Splunk's SPL2 JSON extract function to extract fields from a JSON payload. Next, I'm only retaining events where the type field contains the value of system D. Let's preview the output of this processing logic. As expected, I'm only retaining an event where the type equals to systemd. Next, I'm going to route this process data to my Splunk index. What you see here are the events pulled up in the Splunk web UI. As you can observe, the events that show up in my Splunk index for that specific source type are now only with type equals to systemd. We have navigated back to the detailed view. Here, we can understand the inbound and outbound volume and better visualize the benefit we have gained by performing the action of filtering data using a pipeline. Using similar logic, you can eliminate events that are either not beneficial to index and Splunk or add unwanted noise to your data set. Thank you.